Do you ever just have one of those moments where you really need to think of your calming words in your head and think to yourself, how fast can I say these so I don't jump through the phone right now and murder this person? Oh, oh my God, so let me just start. I originally had Bright House here in Florida at my house, which is being renovated right now, and loved them, but there was always a problem with one of their cable boxes that went to my bedroom. It would not work, it always restarted. I was like, I can't have this, my internet's going slower. I don't know if it was because of the area I was in or what, but whatever. So I switched to Uverse after hearing many, 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 I would say probably like maybe 20 a month nightmare stories about them from my friends. I was like, no, it's gonna be different for me. This is fine, you guys are just having bad luck. And so I switched to them. It was a pain, literally since day one. Um, my internet box went out. So did my cable box in my room. They had to undo some ports, which the guy forgot to do when he was at my house, even though he was there for four hours, setting up two bedrooms and one cable box. And, oh, that's not even it. I did not experience any problems with my bills that I know of. I have not looked back on them, but each month in my bank account on auto pay, it looks like it's the exact same amount. So that's fine. That's not where my problem is. But I'll get to how it was a problem in the past for other people in a minute. So now, since my house has been... So now, since my house is being renovated, I had to move into an apartment so that I do not get the dust and all those particles because there's going to be a new roof and a bunch of other things going on. AT&T does not offer their services in this location. So therefore, by default, AT&T will let you out of your contract because when you get in with them, it's a two-year contract. They will let you out of your contract and then they will just get rid of your services altogether and you give them the cancellation date. So I called to do that. And then I had to call Bright House because I have to get it set up before I move in, which is where I'm at now. So I moved in here probably two weeks ago. AT&T was supposed to stop my services, but when I called Bright House, they said, oh, well, did you let AT&T know that you were moving before you called? Because I have a phone line that I use for my fax machine for business purposes. They put a block on my phone line so that I am not allowed to remove it from AT&T and still have not removed that block. So I've had to continue AT&T at my old house and now I can't have my fax machine at this house. So I waited two weeks, like Bright House told me to. They're like, just call them back and tell them not to cancel your services and then it'll go back into their system, whatever. I did that, I called Bright House today and they're like, nope, we're still getting an error message. They still have a hold on it. We're not able to port your number over. So, we're going to have to escalate it to our phone line team, even though this phone number originally is a Bright House phone number. So now it's looking like AT&T is just jerking people around for any money they can get. A fucking billion dollar company is jerking around for basically $150 a month. Ridiculous. You're going to put a hold on my phone so that no other company can have it because you're that hard up for money? Our time's that fucking tough? just so fucking ridiculous that now I have to continue it. Oh, and, and if I want to, um, if I want to change my plan that I have with AT&T, so I take my TVs out of that house and internet and just have my phone line there, it's actually more to do that than to keep the package that I have. They screw you when you're getting out of a package and then put you onto something else that's going to be about $50 more for a fucking phone line. It, that AT&T, I love my AT&T phone service for my cell phones, but I mean, Uverse, I definitely like never go with AT&T for anything else other than cell phone service. It is horrible. Customer service is horrible. They will dick you around every chance they get. And I personally didn't experience it. Some of my very good friends every month have to call and argue with customer service because their bill will go from maybe 150 a month to probably 300 something a month. It always fluctuates. And then half the time they'll tell you they can't even help you with anything. My father switched to um, Uverse when he moved into his new apartment two years ago and they said, okay, you're in a contract. Your bill is going to be 180 a month. That's including tax. It's not gonna go up. It's not gonna go down. It's a flat rate. That's what it is. You know what his first bill was? 
$370. You call them, they'll put you on hold, they'll transfer you to numerous people. Half of them are not even in the country. Let's be honest, I don't have anything against anyone in another country, but when they don't know what's going on and you can't understand what they're saying on the phone, then, I mean, what are you to do? So you get dicked around there, they're gonna dick your bill around, and then half the time, their service doesn't even fucking work when it starts raining. It's not satellite, and it's not a dish. So I don't know what the hell's going on, Uverse, but you should really get your shit together because you're a pretty horrible company, and I swear if I liked Verizon, I would switch all my services over to them so you guys get no more money out of my family. They just dick people around, and you don't fucking care. That's that. So if you're planning on switching over to anything and you're in anywhere that offers Uverse, I would definitely go with the competitor because Uverse is definitely hands down the shittiest service you're ever gonna get. All right, thank you, that's all for now. It's just a quick rant. Bye guys.